Hi, good afternoon, Corey Thorne, Psychic Medium, Spiritual Healer, and Life Coach, coming in to do the channel message for the month of July 2019 for my Leo. And this is a this is a general reading. This is not a personal reading. This is just a monthly channel message that comes through based on a collective of those that are born in the Leo sign or you have Leo rising somewhere in your sign. So please also remember that this is not to replace any medical or uh, psychological advice that you have been given, and it is to be taken as a form of entertainment only. And the cards that I use in my sessions are for validation of the messages and not to be interpreted as anything other than to be interpreted as those who have created the, the uh, cards. Sorry, my dogs are distracting me as they decide it's a good time to watch. So this is July 2019, and what I'm what I'm getting for my Leo is a sense of being, and we are right now. This is actually right on Canada Day. So if you're from Canada, Happy Canada Day is recorded on July the first, and uh, July the second is a new moon, which is in Cancer, and then we're shifting. We're shifting into some Leo energy somehow within the planet. So I'm not an astrologer, but all I can sense and feel that Leo is taking forefront somehow in the alignment of the planet. So I'm not sure exactly where that fits in. And I just feel a sense that there's just some fire sign energy that's kind of coming together. So Leo being attached to Aries. Somehow Leo being a set attached to an Aries or a Sagittarius, but attached to its own fire, like his, his sister, brother, uh, fire sign. And whether that's in romance or whether that's in any general meeting that you're having, just that you really are drawing in to create something bigger with somebody in one of those signs or somebody that you're already in a relationship and you're just kind of being able to gel together on a bigger level. And it could be even in a project that you're about to start or a, an opportunity that's coming up. And uh, the sense that it's even the months. So even going out, and I know this is only July, but I'm picking up as if when you're coming into, yes, so no, we are moving. So Cancer into Leo. So we, and so it's coming into your month as we come into your month of Leo and we're coming into you being in the fire sign of the month of Leo in the time of Leo, when we hit Leo in the July, the 20th around there, it just feels as if there's a change, a shift, whatever you've been trying to do, whether it's a sell of the selling of, of a home or whether it is a, um, a move in a new direction or whether it is the birth of something new. I'm getting a birth or a rebirth is what I'm picking up. A birth or a rebirth, but it's happening in, in the fire sign and it's also happening with the help or the link of something that's fire linked. There is some water energy that's gonna be floating over into your month. I just feel that, that, so that would be a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Uh, whether or not you're in a relationship or you're in a marriage or you're in something that's linked to want somebody in the water signs. I just see water signs flowing over and kind of dampening your flame a little bit, trying to kind of talk you out of something or trying to convince you to give up on a dream or, or trying to just kind of slow you down. And it's like this time, trust your own instincts. They're not, whatever it is, it just feels you're right. Whatever you're feeling in your heart, the mood, why you made the move, why you moved in that right direction, why you're doing what you're doing is right. Don't back down. Keep your fire burning. Keep going in the direction that you want to go. And just know that it just that perseverance is going to win out. Beautiful things are coming. Beautiful changes are happening. And a beautiful life is waiting for you. It's just that you're not, um, you're, you're here to kind of, at this coming into your month, it's like this month, as we go into, the end of July and we're going into August. It's like when you get to the past the full moon, because it's been a slower, more emotional energy. But once we get to the full moon, it's like we're full blaze ahead. Whatever you've been kind of just sitting on or waiting to make a change or waiting or, or going through some challenges, like don't push it on through it now. We're about to go full swing into something that feels like a powerful type of energy and it's time for you to stand in your own light and this is also the time of um i do feel i do have so i have a real switch here i have two energies so i have this real move and shift and you're very happy but i feel like there's something that kind of makes you want to return 
home and that could be returned to home within yourself or have to go back to your homeland or your hometown to have to deal with something and i feel like it's to deal with the ancestors it's to deal with a mom a dad or a, uh, an auntie or something like something of um either an illness or passing or the dealing of like some closure of some estate stuff or something like that and it's just like or some papers to sign but it just feels like you have to go back and do something can like finish up something or to complete something but it's it's um it's as if completing this it's kind of the end of an old cycle the end of lots of old and then a move into a new direction it's been some tough challenges i am picking up also i'm picking up some shoulder and some back like through the back of the neck and shoulder so and i feel like it's an old ball injury or an old like fall onto one side or something kind of energy of somebody having some shoulder issues of dislocating falling out of the shoulder or shoulder falling out or something and just always having to bring it back up. So it's the same thing as removing that monkeys off, <laughs> removing the monkey off your shoulder. It just feels like a lot of the old, what, like if you, if you came from a time or you came from a, a family or you came from a, a generation or a time of when it was to go to the fear first or the doubt first, and you kind of tend to go there a little bit in the past, go to the past first, instead of going to, to what's happening right now and into a see and a healthy future, you go to the fearful, what if, what if something goes wrong? What if it's like, let all, you know, that's old energy. And it's like, we just have to lift your shoulders up and just say, no, I'm not my past. My past is, and I'm not going to be led and defined by my past. I also feel a sense of there's some, um, some, so some, when I talked about trickling of the cancer coming into the Leos is that there's some, uh, some trickling of the energy of the cancer. And so the water energy is coming over in the form of even relationships. And there's just a, um, I feel like it could be the, I feel like it's the beginning of some good, some, some good relationships or some good ties and whether it's business or whatever, but a sense that, that um, you can't lose yourself and you have to stay in your, stay in your light it just feels like they're the other person might have a very strong personality or the or the owner of a company you're going to work for might be like well if you just do it this way you just do it that way but they hired you for a reason they hired you because you knew what you're doing and it's okay to learn new but you do know what you're doing so stick to your guns and stick to your guns in staying true to you in a relationship don't lose yourself don't give up yourself don't give up yourself you can give up yourself but don't give up on yourself and give all into that relationship and it's the same kind of thing back you have to be very aware of when you guys are losing losing yourselves and to bring it back because if you want to hold it together you have to stay in your uniqueness that is individual to you and then having a sense of so it was legacy of light was the one card that i pulled and then the inner trust Trusting your own intuition, knowing that you're right when you're right, or knowing when to jump on an opportunity when it comes. Just knowing if you should take a deal or take a settlement or whatever it is. No one else can tell you what to do. You have to make these decisions for yourself. But it, I do, wrong cards. I do feel like there is something that's being sold or something that's being, um, mm, or walking away from or moving from or something like that. It's just a sense that something is being sold or kind of finally moving away from or let go of or selling off all your old toys or something. Like I'm done, done with these toys. I don't need them no more. I'm ready to grow up. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Or I'm done with this home and I'm ready to go. One of the two. And it's and the card that came out was letting go. You're letting go of all the past. Like I said, everything that's been on your shoulders, everything that's been on in your back throughout your lifeline. It's just like not being guided by the fear of my past. I'm moving into a future that's beautiful and wonderful. And here is your high priestess of water. I just, there's a lot of water energy creeping over into my Leos. And right now we are in, we are in cancer season, Leo. And so you are very affected by the tides, by the water. Find yourself being a little bit emotional or feel yourself from kind of being, not wanting to do a lot right now. You just want to rest and you're just feeling very tired and just don't want to, you know, probably have plans for the summer. You're like, I don't really want to do it. I just want to have a stay vacation. I just want to stay home and do it. 
you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything extra. You don't have to be anything extra. And then the last card that I pulled, and this is a deceit card, is that you're done deceiving yourself. And here's your fire behind, that you're done deceiving yourself that you can do this world alone is what I'm getting, that you do need help. Um, but also I am picking up the, se the sense of being fooled, fooled by somebody kind of trying to sneak into your life and try to plant in little gremlins in your head of whatever you're doing, they're trying to talk you out of. And no, 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 no. Let nobody talk you out of whatever you're doing. This is for you. This is a great time. If this is the relationship, whatever it is, this is working, it is for you, it's going well, and it is your time to, to be happy. And it's a time of finding happiness and joy in your heart and in your life that do not that is not defined by your past. So enjoy everything that's happening. Much love to you all and have a wonderful July. Bye-bye.